Hello, Les from Thailand. Eh? Today's video is going to be about buying a motorbike or renting a motorbike if, if you're here for long term. Now I've got some pictures here of the motorbike that I've got. Now this motorbike here is eight years old. I've had it for eight years now and it's never ever let me down. It's been a wonderful machine. I get it serviced regularly and in eight years I've just done 10,300 kilometers. So it hasn't done very much as far as mileage is concerned. And if you watch a video a little bit later on after this description, you'll see how perfect it looks. It looks almost brand new. Now these motorbikes are so easy to repair if you have any damage done to them. Now I, I lent my motorbike out to my stepdad's son who came over here for a holiday and unfortunately he fell off it. He, he fell off it very slowly, he wasn't going very fast, just going around a bend, hit a bit of grit on the road and he came off it. So you'll see some pictures here of the damage that was caused. He damaged the underskirt, he damaged one of the side panels, the exhaust. Um, plastic cover and the front mudguard. Now as I said he, he offered to get this repaired and I just took it into the local garage near where we live and the cost of getting this repaired was 3,500 baht for all the damage that you see in these pictures here. So 3,500 baht is not a lot of money to pay. And now a couple of years on I've decided to get a little bit more work done to it. The Again, the pictures that you'll see here, and new brake levers on, I put some new twist grips on the, the handles, and I also got the metal backhand grip painted as well, because some of the paint had chipped off and you could see the aluminium underneath it. So again, for these little bits of repairs, 1,090 baht, and that included the service also. So as you can see, the little video I'm going to put up after here is I've given it a wash and a polish, and it looks almost brand new. So the cost of running a, a motorbike is next to nothing. Now, as I say, I've had this for eight years and it cost me 48,000 baht when I first bought it. So that equates to less than 10 baht a day for the eight years that I've had it. Um, the cost of it now second hand, I could probably buy one just like this for about 23, 25,000 baht. So it's, it's sort of kept half of its value in the eight years that I've had it. It looks like new, it goes like new and as I say when you see the video I'm sure you'll be thinking it is just like a brand new motorbike. I'm very happy with it, I'm very happy with the Honda Click. It just goes on forever. They're easily repaired, easily maintained. For just to get it maintained the oil replacement and the air filter was 180 baht. I do that every 2,000 kilometers and so it doesn't cost much to do that. It's due for an MOT this month uh, and that involves it just goes, gets looked at by the technician, it gets a, a sound test and also emissions test and then that's done. And third party insurance and tax 650 baht a year. So I filled it up with petrol the other day, it was almost empty and to fill it up is 100 baht and that just gets you all over the place. A little scooter knocking around, saves you using the car all the time little local trips is just brilliant i tell everybody to get a little scooter if they need to be pottering around their local area it's so cheap so easy to maintain and it they just go on forever over here they're easily fixed and repaired as you can see before by the damage that was done 3500 baht to get fixed not a lot of money and it looks brand new again after the new panels have been replaced so yeah just watch the video after this Clean the car, clean the motorbike, a bit of spit and polishing as you can see an eight year old motorbike, it looks almost brand new.
So from Les in Thailand, living the dream, until the next video, bye for now.